Hello, everybody. Jennifer, Jenniferini here. And by special request, I am choosing to do a video today about all things Amorosa. This lady, y'all, is, is a trip. Okay, so we're gonna like break this down here because again, I really think that like logic is kind of missing on a lot of things. So let's go with this. So in 2004, Amorosa joined The Apprentice, right? And that's how we even know her name. Thanks to the opportunity of civilian Donald Trump gave her a platform and she chose to be a villain. Huh? Okay, so that already is classic. In that season, <clears throat> she got fired for, I guess, like making too many excuses on her bad performance. Okay. Um, and she also accused another contestant of being racist for using the term, the pot calling the kettle black. Okay, so I'm going to speak on behalf of everyone here and say that I thought, for lack of a better word, she is a bitch, right? She was a power-hungry, greedy, um, trying-to-get-famous bitch. That's it, okay? So we think this for many a year. But the best part, again, using logic is she apparently liked doing it enough, being around civilian Trump and his family enough, that she chose to be on Celebrity Apprentice in 2013. Because of civilian Trump's first show, she's now on the Celebrity Edition, however many years later, okay? She gets into some kind of scuffle with Pierce Morgan because at this point she's cocky and arrogant and thinks she's the shit. And again, I think the majority of us were like, ugh, over her, tired of it. We got enough villains in the world at this point. We didn't need Amorosa too, all right? But I guess she made good TV, you know what I mean? But then a change of events happen. She decides that she's going to campaign for and speak on behalf of civilian Trump as he was running for president. So let's stop here one more time. We need to use logic here, folks. She apparently liked him enough, liked being with his family enough, that she was willing to stop whatever she was doing in her current life to walk around, fly around, campaign around the country and talk about how wonderful he is and how we all should vote for him. This lady, this lady, logically, she had to like him to do such things, correct? I mean, right? All right, so now, this is from 2004 we're talking to now 2018. In December of 2017, we're not really sure what happened, but she gets fired, she gets let go from the White House. Oh, but that's right, because uh, now President Trump gave her another opportunity to work on his administration. Huh? Okay, and she apparently likes him enough to continue that job until December of 2017. He must really be such a bad guy, you guys. Just saying, it's a long time to have ties with somebody if you really think he's awful and a racist. Logic, huh? Okay, so now here's where it gets just classic to me. This crazy loon, now, after all this time, is saying how terrible he is and he's a racist. And what else, what else is she even saying? I don't even know, I'm kind of like tuning her out that he's like sexist, I'm sure, right? Really? Oh yeah, because we believe you now. I am sure of it. Using logic, that means to me that you're just trying to like sell your book, which I'm going to come back to because that's also priceless, right? But this crazy loon was in the White House secretly, without permission, recording conversations at the White House? Y'all, that's a special kind of stupid right there. I'm sorry, that is a special kind of stupid. To me, that is like me going into the police station and robbing it. It's a special kind of stupid, y'all. She's asking for trouble. She's asking for legal trouble here. Because I'm going to believe her. You know what I mean? This person. I'm going to believe her now, okay? 
And the left, there's a select group of people in this country right now that are like holding on to every word that she illegally obtained, hoping that this is the one thing that's going to impeach 45. Really? You guys, really? I mean, who are these people that are believing this? Who think that this is the one thing, this is going to do it? And yes, we're going to make her like the person we idolize for the week, right? So let's get to her book just really fast because, you know, I feel bad for her kind of. And I feel like people are missing the memo. They're so blinded by their like hate and and hoping for whatever kind of bad news about the Trump that they are missing something important. If she would have chosen to make a video or a, a book about her time with civilian Trump on The Apprentice, her time of being with him and his family and campaigning with his family and just the time of being in the administration with the Trump family and policies and everybody else. Y'all know that would have been a bestseller, right? I would have bought that book because at this point, my view of her had changed, right? Like I thought, okay, I think she still is kind of like a bitch. But at this point, I think she's like a powerful bitch, right? Like she was trying to get things accomplished campaigning with Trump. She was trying to like make a good name for herself at this point, I thought. I would have bought that lady's book in a second to hear the front seat, front row version of all these years with the Trumps, right? No, this crazy lady decides just like a lot of people to be a criminal, be a liar, and then hope everybody supports her and praises her and buys her book. There are going to be some that do this. They're the ones that lack logic, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm saying it. I'm tired of it. It's crazy talk. And y'all know that everybody on our side, that book is going to flop miserably. Nobody even believes her at all. And in fact, I'm looking forward to the day that she pays legally for what she has done. It's hilarious. I mean, it's just hilarious. And the last thing I have to say, because as soon, like right before I got on to do this video, I see already the hysteria. <sighs> because I guess President Trump in a tweet called her a dog. How dare you call a woman a dog? Oh my God, that's hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> I don't care what you say. The lady is a dog. All right, I've been calling her a bitch this whole time in a video. If you act like one, you're going to be called one. And there is no reason in God's green earth why President Trump can't call her that. Because she's lying on him and she's a criminal. So get ready to hear about that for the next few days. It's the latest hysteria. There will be something else. What is today, Tuesday? Ah, by Thursday or Friday, we'll be on to something else. Don't worry. But she's the latest. All things Omarosa 24-7 for the next few days. And in the meantime, we all know she's a criminal and a liar and can't be trusted. So, I look forward to the day I'm tired of hearing about her. Like, honestly. Like, what could be next? Could we figure out what's going to be next so we can just move on already? Because she's lame. Okay. I'm going to uh, move on about my day, and I hope you all agree with my Amorosa, she's nonsense. I wish I could come up with, like, a cool word for her like Trump does, you know what I mean? Like, Crooked Hillary and whoever else, Pocahontas, right? Like, I want to come up with a word for her, I just haven't got there yet. But y'all help me. Let's think of that. Because she's got to have some kind of phrase. She's, she's a trip. She's a special kind of stupid. Okay, bye!